Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to talk about moality. In this lesson you will learn about moality and how to calculate moality through a series of examples. So you will need your periodic table and you're going to need a calculator. And you should already know about moles, molarity, concentrations, and stoichiometry. And if you're not sure about any of these areas, then you need to go to my YouTube channel, find these uh, topics, and watch the videos, then come back and watch this moality lesson. All right, what is moality? Well, moality is a type of concentration. It is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent with this equation to help us solve molality problems. It is very similar to molarity, but molarity is based on the volume of a solution and molality is based on the mass of the solvent. Let's do an example. Find the molality of a solution that contains 128 grams of methanol, that's CH3OH, in 108 grams of water. First, let's get our equation, and we know that mold of solute per kilogram of solvent equal molality. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take grams of methanol, because that will be the uh, solute, and turn it to moles of methanol. And we'll do that using the molar mass. Then we'll take the grams of water and we will convert that to kilograms of water. And we can do that by moving the uh, decimal point three places to the left and that'll change grams to kilograms. All right, to the blackboard. The molar mass of methanol would be determined by taking one carbon, one oxygen, and four hydrogen and adding them all up and we get 32.05 grams. Now you should know how to do molar mass. So this was just a little bit of review, but there's a whole video on this if you need to brush up on molar masses. Now the moles of methanol uh, can be determined by taking the grams and multiplying it to the molar mass. Now you'll notice grams will cancel out. We can plug and chug, and that just means put it in the calculator, and we'll get 3.99 moles of methanol uh, with three sig figs. Now let's calculate the molality. Take the moles of methanol, divide it by the kilograms of water, plug and chug again, and you'll get 36.9 molality. All right, let's try another uh, example. Find the grams of H2O needed to dissolve 50 grams of sucrose to prepare a 1.25 molar solution. Now in this one, uh, we're gonna have to find the grams of the solvent already knowing the molality. This would be like in the laboratory, let's say you wanted to prepare a certain molality. Well, you need to know how much water you're gonna add to a certain uh, amount of solute. So what you really need to do here is take and take your kilogram solvent and switch it around. Now that's just a little bit of algebra if you're uh, a little bit weak on your algebra, you might go back and watch my algebra review video for science. So now we have 50 grams of sucrose and we're gonna need to change that to moles. And then we have prepare uh, a 1.25 mole solution. So that's our molality. And uh, we could just plug and chug really after we find the molar mass. Well, the molar mass Get your periodic table out, add these all up, 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygen, and you'll come up with 342.34 grams per mole. There's our molar mass. I'm going to change our 50 grams of sucrose into um, moles by multiplying by the molar mass. Plug and chug, and we get 0.146 moles of sucrose. So find the kilograms of water by putting it into the equation that we created. Moles cancel out, and what's gonna be left is kilograms. Put it in and plug and chug, and we're gonna get 0.117 kilograms of water. But of course, we wanna take and 
Move the decimal place three times to the right, changing kilograms to grams, and we have 117 grams of water. Two examples of how to do things with um, moality. So let's recap. You reviewed molar mass. You reviewed molarity. We described moality with the equation moles per solute, or moles of solute per kilograms solvent equals molality. Remember, this is more interested in the mass of the solvent, not the volume of the solution. And then we practiced. We did a couple of problems. You might want to go back and do them again uh, as you uh, practice this new skill. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And be sure to check out uh, my websites, especially uh, mrkazitutors.com. There's also mrkazi.com and mrkazisworld.com. There are videos and lessons and much, much more. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. It will improve your grades. Happy Ons, y'all.